What's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna show you my sheds collection and do an update on the go karts and whatnot and mini bike. So we'll start with this one here. Nice ten or eleven point that I found in Sebastian Buffer. He's huge, probably like a freaking that thing probably sat for five years before I found it. This one somebody hit, told me about it, I went and found it. Nice eight eight point. This one I actually got from South Carolina from my dad. The only thing he's ever given me besides the truck outside. This one I found in a cypress swamp in a Grant, north of the Satilli Canal, uh, Grant, Florida. And now I only got my nicest ones that I found out. These are all fairly decent sized. Come on, back up. Back up. Cannot have my deer horns. This guy's got a real fat base. What size is that? Back up. Back up. Little five. Another little five with a split with G1. Now this one's kind of rare. This is an Axis deer horn that um, there were actually some on the St. Sebastian River Preserve for a long time. There were pets that were released and uh, I got lucky enough to find this thing. It's about three and a half, four foot long. So he likes it. This one I found south of Miko Road. And uh, he's, a, he's a shooter. He'd catch a bullet for me. And then my favorite sheds are these two that I found after a prescribed fire. It's probably one of the nicest deer you'll shoot in Florida. A couple little guys there. Little guy there. This one's actually from South Carolina. That uh, I had found two dolmen by squirrels and whatnot. Okay. I actually have a bunch more that uh, I didn't show you because they're really small and not really worth showing. And I've also I've cut a bunch up to make keychains out of. Oh, here's a few more here. Here's one. This little fella here. It's a nice one. That's a weird one there with that little um, non-typical, I guess you'd call that. Oh yeah, here's another axis, another axis deer horn. This one's a little smaller, about two feet, maybe a little longer. And then I got a couple more up there that I just didn't get down. That looks like another axis deer horn there. But all right, let's go do a go kart update. Coming out soon. All right, as we go into the garage, ah, look at that beautiful machine. I gotta put a fuel pump in there. I might be doing a video on that soon. So here's the go-kart, my most recent project. I finally got this engine plate off over here. This engine plate, it was not easy. This used to be here for one wheel drive. I'm probably gonna end up putting it here, cutting these off. Cutting those off, putting some axle hangers on there, and uh, making it a live axle. This was a two-seater, and I'm going to make it into a one-seater by putting this here. This was here for uh, two people, putting it here for one big person like me. <clears throat> so this is going to be my personal go-kart. And then you got the OG. You guys have seen it in a few of my videos. Yeah, it's a madman. Right. I wanted to show you that I got a pond that I plan on doing work on as soon as it cools off around here. Sorry about the wind. But it's a wee little pond. Day. 
But I also wanted to come back here and show you this. Watch out. Got a bunch more deer sheds. <laughs> like this. A skull. Another skull. This thing here is another skull. Look at this thing. This was a gnarly shed. I wish I could have found it before it got destroyed. But here's my little pond. Bunch of wee little fish in it. And I'm pretty sure there's a koi in there. A brim. I got a bowfin in there. I just dropped a bunch of shiners in here yesterday. Um, I used to have a waterfall going through here. But of course the pump failed on me. And them pumps are expensive. That is a crazy looking bug. Check him out. Land. He's scared of me. But... Hopefully soon I'll get this back going again and get all that muck out of there. Get it looking good. But I got one more thing I want to show you. That me and Ryan will probably be working on later on today. Come here, Sue. I think my dog got into fire ants. If there's fire ants in my yard, my dog will find them. That's all there is to it. So you guys know the mini bike it is still in process but we just got this recently we've been doing work on it it's got a broken motor mount as you can see it's kicked off to the side but uh it's pretty tough we just got two inner tubes for it and we'll probably be pulling this out today Dog. we'll probably be pulling that out today and messing with that and if anybody has ever seen a motor like this, let me know. It's, it looks like an Indian. If I'm wrong, I could, I could be wrong. But it's got two output shafts. I've never seen that before, and they go in opposite directions. So if anybody knows what kind of motor this is, I've looked for it online. Cannot find anything on it. And uh, I'm curious, because it looks really cool. And I'd like to put it on something. But All right, so that's the little update video for today. I did some fishing this weekend. I didn't get it on camera because my wife outfished me. I didn't want to show everybody. Alright, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.